Nestled down a quiet little back street in the Tonbury area of Bangkok, Uncle Tu has been coming out at the same time every day for the last 50 years come rain or shine to feed the hungry local community. The only thing more impressive than this awesome uncle's work skills are the prices at his street stall. Everything here, including his signature pad kapow, is 10 baht. That's 30 US cents. Now, if you're selling food for this price, there's no way you're in it for the money. You have to love what you do. And Uncle Tu cooks everything with a smile on his face. This, my friends, is a real Thai street food hero. Let's go. All right, but it's not just street food today, guys. I'm giving you a whole evening that is going to cost you absolutely next to nothing. Once we finish here, we're going to walk over just around the corner, up onto the bridge. There's a sky park overlooking the Chow Phraya River for sunset. The seats, he's bought the, the cutlery, and most importantly, he's bought the food. So, <laughs> Lila, huh? huh? All right, so one day, guys, I just asked him one day, he said, in one day, sorry, they cooked 200 eggs. Wow. Okay, I'll talk young, no? Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. I need more gratiam. More gratiam. Come, come. All right, more gratiam. So, pork stir fried with garlic, as the name suggests. That lovely garlic here. I think they also do radna and pad pad pao. Or a little bit of pork stock. We've got a mun more, so we're doing things properly. So we've got pork fat and some pork. I need a lighter. I'm a lighter. Papa powder. So it's mun more, na? Oh, oh, yes. So I pick power. Yeah. We've got chili paste going in, guys. Chili. Oh, carb. Right, and in goes the bike of power. A little bit of pork soup. This is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Uncle is a wok master. And I just can't get over the price. I'd be impressed if I didn't know it was 10 baht, like if I just walked up and saw him doing his thing. It's like a little military style operation just outside a house. Legend, whoa. Oh, okay. Again, pick power. Ooh. Ah. Say home, yeah, it's a pick. Okay. Probably the most impressive thing about the whole day is watching Uncle flipping his big wok over and over and over again. 
over this massively high flame. I probably couldn't even do that. This man's 76, I'm 40. I can't do what he does. Legend. So now we're on to the stir fry. Lana. This is like hypnotizing, this is like a drum. So there's only a few people waiting in the queue. There's been about five people in the queue since I started filming like 15 minutes ago. But uncle tells me they sell about 200 eggs per day, fried eggs, which tells you that's at least 200 dishes. Do you know what, before, before it gets dark, I might as well show you some of the other stuff that's down here. So we've got a fruit cellar, we've got a roti with samosas, uh, we've got more bing. What do you have? This lovely lady sells uh, pad thai. Uh, Hatay Boran. You come from? Uh, England. Oh, England. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tao Hue, Tao Hue. Tao Hue, okay, tofu. Tao Hue. Huh? Any other line? Banongko. Banongko, you like leg? No, no. Banongko, you like leg? Huh? Hello, mate. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Then we've got a little cow gang number going on, so a few different things, a few different bits and pieces. Cow gang, cab. Again, like every time I take you anywhere, I say I'm gonna have to come back and do another video because there's just too much to eat here. It's absolutely insane. I've ordered, I think I've ordered everything off the menu, but we will see. They keep coming, they keep coming. There's more in the queue now, look. I told you, it's always five, it's just a steady stream. Cut. But forget the food, this is just one of the nicest streets you'll come to on this side of Bangkok. We're not far from Icon Siam. So if you're there, I would implore you to come down here and explore, implore to explore. You've got the Queen Mother Memorial Park behind me, which is really, really nice. You've got loads of little cafes on the river and just some of the friendliest nicest most welcoming locals you are going to find anywhere in bangkok this is tombury at its finest uh, uncle's just told me he's 76 i don't believe it he looks how's it been 76 and still flipping over walks like anyone's business hello i have every day every day yeah <laughs> wow how, how many years you come here some tip, some tip here. Come here. Oh wow, 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 wow! Amazing. All right, so let's see what ten baht gets us in Bangkok, guys. We got pad ka pao mo sap, kai dao with a runny as you like fried egg. Okay, radna, just a little one, just a little one. Mo gratiam, mo gratiam. Okay, mo gratiam. I got my man helping me out, and um, more pad gatiam sai pig. Okay. Come on, have long have, big have. Okay, look at the pig nampa, guys. Pounded. I've never seen this before. Wow. Onto this egg. Oh, perfect. 
All right, guys, this is pretty insane. Just seeing Uncle and his team in action is enough for me. I don't even care if this food's any good, but it does look incredible. Now, I know what you're thinking. Very, very small portions, but of course, what do you think you're gonna get for 10 baht? Now, I've heard this used to be five baht back in the day, um, but obviously with inflation, we've gone up to 10 baht. Um, so you can't be expecting too much, but what this does do is feed the masses like imagine if you're on a really really tight budget like some people here have no money whatsoever but you can get yourself 10 20 30 bar you can get yourself three little dishes a substantial amount of rice per dish you can get an egg kapow and rice you can get an egg meat and rice for 20 bar what more do you want all right guys i'm going to try the kapow first because of this deliciously runny egg I love the pounded fish sauce already without even tasting it. Oh, mate. Oh, my God. This chili fish sauce is almost fermented. Wow. Never tasted anything like that. That's like extremely salty and almost alcoholic with the pounded green chilies it's almost like you know when you get the the pig dong with beef noodle soup it's kind of like that but not sour like well it's a little bit sour because it tastes kind of a minute but without the vinegar and fish sauce instead so it's like a savory version of that like a really intense like oh, chili sauce i've never had anything like that mm. The pack of bow is incredible. Super, super crispy. Perfectly yoked. Right then. Lung Pool's got skills. Even after one dish, this has to go down as probably the best street food experience I've ever had. All right, next up, I'm gonna try the chili paste one. A more goddamn side pick, which I thought he said was pad pick, but the onion, where he's thrown it in right at the end, he threw the onions and the chilies in right at the end, so they just cooked through. Really, really sweet, still have a little bit of crunch. Love the pick, pal, that sweet garlicky chili paste. Pork is tender cooked to perfection. Now I was expecting for 10 baht, when I looked on Google and saw it for 10 baht, I thought it was gonna be like scraggly little end bits of meat, which I wouldn't have had a problem with. But actually, this is top quality stuff. Long Tool doesn't strike me as the sort of man that is doing this to amass a massive profit. He strikes me as a man doing this for the community. All right, next up I'm just gonna go with a more gratiam. To be honest, I'm gonna be full up just off the rice, so I don't need any more than this. And this is, I think, cost me 50 baht. And I know what you're thinking. Well, you can go and get a pack of power for 50 baht and get a full portion. Yeah, but I've managed to try four different dishes for 50 baht. So I can sell this to you any way you like. The fact he's cooking it all in handmade pork fat as well actually does take the piss. Puts all you young pups out there to shame. I'm gonna have to go in with a bit more of that chili fish. So this is insane, guys. The quality at the price ratio is in, I've lost the word. So once in my life, I've got nothing to say. I could eat a whole pot of that. All right, last but not least, that gloopy, snotty mess we call Radna. I think he's used rice flour in this because you don't have like the little clumps in it. I could be wrong. I'm actually getting pretty full. Nice amount of vegetables, not too much in the way of noodles, but loads and loads of veg. Tastes a bit peanut here, which I'm guessing is the yellow beans, maybe burnt a little bit. That's my least favorite out of four. Um, probably because I went and got that radna yesterday. It's a 
a shame. The noodles are smoked to perfection. I'm not going to say anything because the pork is still amazing. For the price, nice and soft. I probably wouldn't order that again. What I would order though, that I saw him cooking, is the patsy yul, which looked really, really good. And this pickled chili fish sauce is absolutely incredible. This, my friends, is why I do what I do. I absolutely buzz off this stuff. And if you, like me, like getting out, seeing something local and just immersing yourself in local life, this is your spot. Of course, directions will be in the description box below. You don't need prices because everything's 10 bar. I'm rushing you guys because I want to get you up onto that bridge for sunset. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Guys, that was insane. I cannot explain to you. What a buzz that was seeing him in action. I don't think I've even overhyped that. That was one of the best things I've done in Bangkok. Obviously I'm biased because I love food, but that was incredible. Okay, I did forget to tell you where we were. We're right by Memorial Bridge, not far from Wanwei and Yai. You want to come from Wanwei and Yai as if you're driving to Memorial Bridge and you sort of come back on yourself, do a U-turn and then you'll see these arches walk down. It's on your right hand side. I'm rushing a little bit because I need to get up onto this sky park uh, before sunset and it's the sun setting now let's go all right so this does <laughs> smashing music there this does get confusing you want to go in the entrance pretty much opposite the arches don't go anywhere else because this gets confusing guys all right so you're looking for these stairs here Honestly, I, I might sound like I'm going over the top, but it took me about an hour to find these stairs the other day. I was walking around all these other random bridges, back and forth. All right, so this is pretty special. The view is amazing. You can see both sides. You can see the city view. You can see the temple views. You can see the sun that's setting over there behind Waterrun. We're a little bit late, but you're still gonna get the feel of it. A lot of university students here, as I said, it's a cheap day. <laughs> Go down, get your cheap food, come here, it's free. Okay, so there you have it, guys. On a budget or not, I think you agree. These are two absolute must-dos in Bangkok. What's that just cost me? All in, 50 baht, this is free. 50 baht for four dishes and an egg. Could have bought a couple of drinks, I guess, if you wanted to bring a couple of drinks up here as well. Add another 100 on, 150 baht, less than $5, and you got yourself a nice little evening. I will stick links with directions to both the places that i went today of course let me know where you want me to go next it's a shame guys that i don't have the drone with me to see you out with some chow prayer river footage uh go on you can have some see you in the next one